Hey, I was just hanging out with uh, a couple of my friends from work, Jose and Christina, and uh, we were, it was a pretty intense conversation. We were talking about like people, and we weren't talking about people, we were just talking about each other, like we were probing each other. It was very interesting. And Christina asked me why, because I was like, she was saying, you can't prove any of what you're saying by like any kind of sign. It needs some sort of <clears throat> like incremental proof and I said I've got the subscriber base keeps going up and she was like why do you look at the subscriber base and I was like I just she said oh you shouldn't even be looking you said you weren't trying not to look at that thing I said I know and then I said I look at it every day which I do I just I mean and then she said why and I said because I want power and she said why and I, I said she said, well, there, what is the reason? I said, because I never had it when I was young. And I'm compensating for it. And it's true. I am. Of course I am. I'm totally. It's crazy. I'm just a, one, a, a classic case of that. It's true. But, so that being said, I am human and I want power because I didn't have it before. I want what I didn't have. I have had an pretty interesting life and I didn't I didn't get really hurt much as a child that's not true that's not true I want to think that but that's not true I did I did I didn't have any friends really I'm just like everybody else I really am I didn't get beat or abused physically I think that's really common. And I really didn't get verbally abused. But I didn't have friends. I lived in solitude. I played video games. And I only had like one friend and then like two friends. And then in high school, I started to have more friends. But, and that was good. And that was great. And then by the end of high school, I really felt like I, I am okay. Because I, I really am. I felt justified. I felt like my personality is good. See, people like it. It's justification. But then I think, I just wanted, did I just want what I didn't have? Or does everybody want it to be accepted? Maybe that's why I like so much seeing my subscribers rise. It's because I like being accepted. I do. And I want to make other people feel that thing, feel accepted, because I like it so much. Why, why not all be accepted? Why not just do it? It's not impossible, it's just hard work. So that's what I want to that's what I want to do. I just want to make things easier for people. I, it's not about I don't want money for it at all, ever. Ever. I I want to make my money performing. You know, using my craft. And then I want people to to listen to me when I talk, too. It's it's moderation, it's balance, it can be it can be all of it. I just really want it because I maybe because I was so I didn't have it at all when I was young I was I felt totally unaccepted by my family Max was really the only person that I felt accepted me but yeah Max and then Steve and then the list goes on of course then there's Matt and Ted and Shannon. All right, but I'm, I'm not going to do this because it could have been anybody. We're all the same. It could be anybody. You know, it's all, it's all, it's all, we're all just bumping into each other. <sighs> it was really intense to think that, that I'm compensating and I want this power. So I want to do something. I want power and I want to do something really positive with it. Really positive with it. I mean, for everybody. For everybody. I don't want to fuck some people over so that they lose money or, you know, you can make it, you can make it better for everyone and still live within a capitalist democracy. You can make it better for anyone and have any kind of government. You can make it better for people first and then worry about everything else. By make it better for people, I mean make it better for myself. I can make it better by doing what I want and saying what I want and then I can worry about all the other stuff and I do 
and I've never missed a, a payment on my credit cards. I have about $15,000 in debt, and I've never missed a payment in the five years that I've had a credit card. I've, I've got like four, three credit cards in there. So I shouldn't really talk about my credit card. Unless someone wants to <laughs> hack into them and pay, pay them off. I'm kidding. Oh my god. You see how I just manifested that? I'm a flawed human. I just subversively asked for money. Wow. That is fucking manipulation on a subconscious level. That's bullshit. I don't ever want anyone to touch my, my finances. Ever. They are mine to handle on my own. And I will spread spread it around to people. And the more I have, the more I'll spread around to people. It's really stressful to have no money. I mean, I don't have no money. I, I make, you know, I have a car that I financed because I have good credit. That's the key is you have to have good credit because I, I have no money. None. None. I worked at Hoppy's Chicken. I worked at Coconuts Music and Video. And then I worked at a restaurants and Acme Grocery Store in my senior year of college. I bagged groceries and uh, was the cashier. And then I started writing the announcements for the store. And they would take record. I'd go in every week and record them. And then I, uh, I would do them live whenever I worked. And they would like let me go write recordings in the cop in the flower shop. Bob, Bob Hoke, Bob, Bob. I haven't responded to you. Sent me a couple emails. One about Valentine's Day and coming out to Los Angeles or Chicago. Oh God, I think about you all the time, man. I suppose I'll send you an email. Maybe I'll call you. I still have your number. Bob was my manager at Acme. He was the head, head man. Great, fun. Amazing guy. I think you're in the military, Bob. Boy, this video is a long one and all over the place. And I and I kind of got off track at the end, and probably subconsciously too, because I want, I want to go back to the fact that I asked for money subconsciously. I think that's fucked up. What's wrong with me? I guess what's wrong with me is I'm human, but at least I'm talking about it so I can figure out what specifically is wrong with me so I can change it. I don't want people's money. I want to make my own money. It feels good. Okay. And the power hungry thing, that was big, and it still is big. And Christine, I gotta thank Christine for that. I, I was like crazy at the end. Oh my god. We were leaving and I was like talking to her. She was like, Ian, you're losing your mind. You just it, it, you're losing it, you're losing it. And I said, uh No, you know, and I just kept pushing and pushing and pushing it. And that made me think about how I'm kind of losing touch with balance. And then I had a conversation in the car while I was thinking a lot. And then I thought that I want... I had an impulse of, like, I want money or I want power. So, something kind of kind of neg negative. And then I, I said out loud, no, I'm not going to want that. I'm not going to allow that to happen. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to. And then I thought, dude, you're having a fucking conversation with yourself in your head. You are losing touch with balance. What's So maybe I am going crazy. Of course. I fucking talk to myself. Wow. Even on the camera, I'm still talking to myself. Is it going crazy? Or is it healthy? If it's... This is my, this is my one strand of kind of faith. But if I keep people around, keep people around me all the time, and I never stop opening up to people, that this can be accomplished. Because otherwise, if I start to isolate, I'm going to lose touch with reality. I'm going to start to think that what I believe is real. What I believe is the answer. And it's not. I know that I'm, this is why I'm doing this, is because I'm fucked up. Because I'm really fucked up. And I want to get to the bottom of it. I want to get it all out. Just get it all out. Wow. That's a big... It's uh, a big thing. 
Can it be done? Perhaps I'll leave you with that question. Can it be done? Can we get to the bottom of it? Or can we get far? How far can we go? I think it can be done. The internet's pretty amazing. I'll see you later.